1898, within the sands of Saqqara, Egypt's ancient necropolis, archaeologist Khalil Messiha unearthed an artifact that didn't seem to belong to its time. Carved from sycamore wood and dating to around 200 BCE, it resembled a bird, yet its shape was unmistakably aerodynamic. Unlike any known avian statue from ancient Egypt, its straight wings, absence of feathers, and upturned tail suggested design, not decoration. At first, the artifact was catalogued as a simple toy or symbolic offering to the god Horus, protector of the sky. But decades later, aeronautical engineers began to notice its uncanny resemblance to a modern glider. Its wings followed the same curved pattern used in contemporary aircraft to create lift, and the tailplane was precisely aligned to stabilize flight. Even its weight distribution matched early models of biplane designs. Measurements revealed the artifact's wingspan at about 7 inches, with proportions nearly identical to the sailplane ratio of modern gliders. When replicas were built and tested with lightweight materials, several achieved flight under laboratory conditions. Some even demonstrated the potential for stable gliding, a feat far beyond coincidence for an object carved 2,000 years ago. Skeptics argue that it was never meant to fly, that it was merely an artistic depiction of a bird in stylized form, or a child's toy crafted with creative freedom. Yet others note that the Egyptians studied wind and geometry with extraordinary precision, constructing pyramids that align with celestial patterns to within fractions of a degree. The idea that they may have experimented with flight is not entirely beyond reason. In 2002, an Egyptian engineer named Dr. Farouk Elbaz proposed that the Saqqara bird might have served as a scale model for a much larger craft, perhaps an early attempt to understand the skies through imitation and observation. Ancient texts describe boats of the sun that carried gods across the heavens. Could those myths have been inspired by something more tangible? History often buries its breakthroughs beneath faith and symbol. Perhaps this small wooden glider was not a toy, but a memory. Evidence that humankind's dream of flight began not in the Renaissance, but in the temples of ancient Egypt. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe to get notified when a new video drops. It's also the best way to support our channel.